This is Floss TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time as we analyze some of the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Ossie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Oshanke. It's good, it's good. Hello. Hello. Why did you post your what's good, what's good, what's good? <laughs> no, how are you doing? How are you guys? Fine, how are you? Did it's I Friday. Did I miss something? What? Did I miss something? Means. No, okay. Do you want to miss something? That's a very interesting question. I mean, the kind of questions. Very you know, interesting. Okay. Interesting question. Mm. It's Friday. You know. It influences your energy. Or are you, yeah. you not happy that it's Friday? No, so no it's I'm not. Down. He's not been happy. Yeah, yeah. I don't look forward to weekends, funny enough. I think the week keeps me busy, but um, the weekends are just usually laid back. I just sleep, eat, sleep, you eat. Nobody was watch, <laughs> watch movies. Come on, be busy. You know, but we'll, we'll get through this too. You know, usually the weekends are always for fun, even right. when you're not working. Even if you don't go out on Friday nights, but you know the weekends are late, you get to see friends. Now you mm -hmm. can't even visit people because my friends are even scared of me. They're like, You that you were going out during the lockdown, no, please don't come to my house. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay, <coughs> sorry, dear. You'll be all right. You will be fine. Too. <laughs> Julius Ibrahim commends Ghana government for their fight against the coronavirus disease. In a live chat on Instagram, the actress believes government says she believes government has been proactive in its fight since the first case of COVID-19 was recorded in the country, um, thus reducing the possible spread of the coronavirus rapidly. However, she's stuck in Nigeria. Anyway, she also hinted she was working on um, documenting her. COVID-19 experience into a movie that will be released soon. Mm. I'm not looking forward to that one anyway. Why not? Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, it's your personal opinion, and I think it's a personal opinion too about commending the government. It's a country, so if she says they've been proactive. Don't you agree that they've been proactive? Um, you don't agree to the opinion? No, I... I kind of agree but i don't know much about it because i'm not there presently so i think she has she will have more insight she's even though she's a yeah, 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 I know, but, yeah but based on what people is forget what we even see on the news now now there are people with first-hand experiences that live there that get back to juliet do you understand so i believe she would know a lot more than we see on the news because they are directly affected by these things so um and i think they've been quite proactive if you ask me, but the mistake they made, because um, there was more death rates, was um, when they is the lockdown was it is it lifted completely? I think they lifted it completely. They eased it. They eased it, right? And um, well, why do you think rate, that was a mistake? Because more people died. I think that was because died, died regardless if, of the if, yeah. Well, I just feel like if they had stayed home a little bit longer, maybe it wouldn't have spread f that fast. That's just my personal thoughts. Okay. I agree with her that Ghana has done really well for themselves in regards to the lockdown, especially in the rule of governance. I think they've been very open and communicating and very proactive with their decisions. We haven't heard a lot of scandals from Ghana, or like a president saying something he wasn't supposed to say, or he's not asking people to mm. drink effect disinfectants like, like Trump or anything like that. So, I mean, I would give them kudos for that. It's not easy knowing Africa has a lot of limitations um, that are quite different. Um, it, it, something people always usually say with Ghana is that it's, there's um, a small amount of number, but I actually have to disagree. A lot of poor countries that are governed really bad are small countries. Um, and so it's not an excuse. I think we have to give them credit where it's due. And I'm happy that um, Julia Ibrahim is doing that. I also like their street rules regarding traveling, because if it's some country, let me not mention name, somebody like Sakwadia will be back to his country somehow yeah. because he will kind of have privileges. And But this is a street, no coming back. And remember you also mentioned um, what they do at the airports when they had not totally shut down. So once you get there, you have to be quarantined for 14 days, no mm. exception. And you're going to stay around the airport area as well. So I think that was really good. Mm. And um, kudos to them. They've done well. I just yeah. hope that globally we can 
finally one day wake up to say coronavirus is over. But then I, I saw another guys, news yeah. that was saying that it's... It may just well, stay with us. Yeah, so like HIV, AIDS, and the rest. Wow. That's, yeah, that's, that's, the the no, that's the comparison. That's, that's the comparison he was using a lot, that he promised um, that they've been able to promise people with it, living with HIV a healthy and long life, and they think they can start to do the same with a... Um, that comparison is with a, I think it, I think that comparison is actually very wrong in a way, because is. HIV AIDS is you not as contagious from, yes, from just... Yeah hanging around with each other so it's weird except we're all going to be wearing masks and socially distancing and well we need to like we need to start um understanding the fact that the, the, the new normal is going to be different i, I think so too it's not um, going to be business as usual they're trying to say that the masks are now usual. like condoms if it's not even protective if condoms were like maybe 90 <laughs> percent masks are like 40 percent mm -hmm. so it's so not still it, it doesn't work right no Mm -hmm. yeah. what does John ask? No, I'm just asking. It's just, it's just, it's just a very innocent question. Of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very innocent question. Very, well. very. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. Okay, uh, moving on. Ghanaian high life sensation Bisa Kide says individualism and favoritism is killing Ghana music. He said, and I quote, Our elders have a proverb which says a single broom can easily be broken, but a bunch of brooms cannot be broken, meaning that there is, a, there is strength in unity. That's how we all to do the work if we start doing favoritism by throwing all our supports behind only one artist whilst other artists also need support then we all get we all can't get to move forward progressively i hope you understand so it is good for all of us in the music industry to unite push ghana music to um the world um that he utilized them um, stone boy for being hardworking in his quest to make ghana proud mm. okay um, there's been a lot of conversation coming out of Ghana music industry, um, them not supporting each other the way they're supposed to do, them not being, what's the word now, together. Because I don't even understand the idea of individualism in this topic per se, but I feel like everybody's doing the much they can do. As much as I'm not in Ghana and I don't know exactly what is transpiring or what he has experienced personally for him to keep on saying all these things, but I think um, too much talk does not get the job done and they should really come back together. Maybe him and his this is B, right? And then the three S, they all sit together and have a conversation. So you should get some way. more B's with him. <laughs> Maybe not make it le about letters instead <laughs> and just push everyone out. Yeah, because I, I don't know why the, the conversation is always oh, you people are promoting one person and not promoting the other. I think music is also, the business of music is also about the people who are consuming them. So if they are fine with it, just like me trying to um, come after Whiskey FC, that's what they call themselves, right? Because they love Whiskey. And then there's one artist I'm trying to promote and they are not buying into that artist yet. And I feel like it is their fault. Mm. Why not go back to the drawing board, maybe check your promotion, check your style of music. If they, I'm not saying you should leave your unique style, but there's mm. something you could do. Of course. And maybe even if it's just jumping on the trends of social media to get... TikTok is doing a lot for a lot of artists. There are songs you don't like and... Um, after it's gone viral on TikTok, it becomes a big deal. Like Bob Daddy, I know that would be weird, but yeah. I know I love Faust, but I never liked Bob Daddy until yeah. it became a challenge, right? Yeah. So there are a lot of things you can do to push yourself. Maybe those people need to sit down with him and everybody find out what they can do to push themselves globally. I, d I don't think Canadians necessarily are that conscious about, about really... Should I say presenting their music and their culture to the world? So I even noticed when I got to Ghana that they copied a lot of things that Nigerians do. That, for me, is already a sign of weakness. Like, there's no one that wants to come to Nigeria and will start all of a sudden, we'll start wearing Ghanaian dresses for our wedding days or, like, we'll leave our ghillie and start putting the one-hand thing that Ghanaians do. I think they're easily swayed a bit with music. Um, and they, they, I think between themselves, they struggle with either, like... Um, staying indigenous and being indigenous or trying to convert their music into commercial music and i think the insecurities that happen in that community is obvious and so you've given us the outsiders the choice to pick whatever we feel like so whatever we think is palatable but i think nigerians are the opposite like even if we don't like it we will make you like our songs this, even if it's just yoruba or just Igbo, if you don't understand the thing so i understand that there is some type of like um well, I say I know necessity in in that industry and how they support each other. It's nice that he's promoting Sakho, um, sorry, Stone Boy. Stone Boy. Uh, it's nice that he's doing that and he's pushing behind that. But a lot of the times, I think with the music industry, sometimes your music just speaks for you, and you don't need that much so 
for if that makes sense and if you're not getting it it might not be because it's individualism it might be that your music is just, it's just not that great I think everybody should focus on their platform and stop being distracted by what others are doing because you're trying to say, oh, promote this, promote that. You don't tell me what to do with my platform. So focus on yours. Bisa KD is quite big, like I said earlier. If he's doing so much with his, if he's doing so little with his platform, maybe other people would even look at it and be like, okay, that's the way to go. Instead of everybody trying to point accusing fingers all the time. So my advice to Ghanaians is, can we just stop talking and start acting? Thank you. It's time for a quick break, but when we come back, we have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Chloe Kardashian and Tristan Tom Thompson threatened to sue woman over paternity claim. According to page six, she sent a cease and desist letter to a woman claiming to have a child um, with Tristan. The woman is being asked to immediately stop defaming them with malicious defamatory lies and specious fabrications after she claimed in an alleged chest message that Thompson is the father of her baby. Paperwork purporting to be from a lab which specializes in DNA testing services surfaced online, suggesting Thompson took a paternity test in January 2020 and result was negative. The woman also claims that Chloe somehow falsified the paternity test result. May not end in tears. Mm. Amen. The reason why I'm saying that is because I'm she's very confident about you know supporting her man's or whatever that she's denying is a rumor. And but then how can you willingly boldly support a man that is known to be promiscuous like but that's a negative result that she could have toiled with i don't know i don't know to be honest i don't know um should they go ahead and get a you know sue the lady for defamation if the story is indeed false yes absolutely do what you need to do but I'm over Chloe, to be honest, um, and I'm over both of them. So they can, they can go and <laughs> hug the transformers. Over, I swear. Like, they can go and hug the transformer for like here. Yeah, like we don't, I, I don't. The woman isn't that fair. Like until they brought it up into the news that they were suing someone, I've never like I haven't seen it. So I don't know what's defaming about that. And I hope that the lawyers can pick I up. I think the they fact. say there are some posts on her Instagram page that they want her to take down as well. Claiming you know, that. if somebody is defaming someone, like if you say that, oh, you're defaming me that I was involved in Yahweh yeah, or something like it's it's understandable that you are ruining my reputation this lady is not ruining um, Thompson's reputation in that regard he already does that to himself like this is not somebody that's no. so far away from no. like um, like sleeping with other people that I don't know I just don't really see it as defamation but then again maybe it's just because I'm really like over them I don't know the fact that um, I would have to disagree with that because the fact that um, I'm known for something or I've done something once or twice and then somebody comes to say that I did it when I did not do it. Uh -huh. still but, but the character has been different. Exactly. I did it when I was angry, you're going to come from. Yeah, the character has already been The character is yeah, gone she already. She does something wrong for lying and she should be accused, she should be penalized for lying. But she, she should be penalized for defaming his character like now that you're mentioning penalize so you, you continue your thoughts the funny part for me in that story when in the letter um chloe says or the lawyer says that the woman will have to face multi-million dollars <laughs> in damages and i'm wondering if she has multi-million dollars will you be here yeah, in the first exactly. place 
Well, exactly. um, like if I rightly said, I'm over um, Chloe and Tristan for real. Like, they should just handle their it business. They should make up, right? Just, but they oh, are they the same. Oh, they're they are the same up. ones that would come. Okay, was it Courtney we spoke about yesterday? No, it was, it was Chloe, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so they are the ones that will come to say we should get out of their business, and then you bring your business all in our face. Like, okay, you t just told me yesterday to stay was, off your business. That was no, but this that. one is different because also um, they're together because you were just saying yesterday the platforms that actually decided to go and dig out court documents they didn't bring this to social media themselves this is investigative but i thought she said i thought she okay the one she brought on social media that she said it was a rumor that, mm -hmm. that it mm -hmm. was rumors that they are together and they're quarantining and, that, you're defending and that, that she's pregnant but now you people are you know she's even the one Send sending um a court case against like ugh, gross uh, whatever Please. You know what? Don't let us indulge their confusion. Yes, please. Mm. But don't you love their love? Uh, what? Okay. Moving on. It's just a question. Snoop Dogg wants to battle Jay Z in Instagram rap sh um battle as part of Swiss Beats Timberland versus Jay Z is yet to publicly accept the challenge. This is interesting mm. to see Let's not and read. Let's embarrass ourselves. Like um, I understand. He said he's the king of. What so is West? the king of? Who is the king of where? Um, Jay Z is the king of New York. Mm. He's the king of the West. No, he was the king of the West in like the nineties. He is still no longer. He's still, yeah, yeah, even yeah, even what the that? documentary. Is it a documentary? Oh, based now? on yeah, music, show that um, the one that has no, Ti. No, based on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one that has the one that has <laughs> Ti and Cardi B. Mm -hmm. The one that they're trying to get talent from the hood. They still recognize him as the king of whatever. Based, that's, that's what I'm saying. Based on music, because he hasn't sang in like how many? Uh -uh, he, sang, he has. Oh. We go, we go, we go. Do you know how many? I wasn't. <laughs> I'm gonna expose my age. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, this is a very interesting battle that I would like to see. Obviously, Snoop Dogg has a lot of his records. He's put out the numbers. I, I, if you might say since we went last, they put out music, but he puts out music regularly. Those and it's going to be based on hits anyway. It doesn't matter when, hits, so it doesn't how. matter how recent the song. Um, I still came feel like he'll have Jay Z will have more hits because he's still relevant and still popping oh, yeah. up with hits. I think I if know. they do this, um, Jay Z is very relevant definitely for now, but. The way this versus thing works is about the songs that's the going commercial. to carry the crowd, and you yeah, know, yeah, but it's all about the people. So, how many commercial songs? This is every time, no, has this, more commercial uh, songs. Oh, guys, are we forgetting? Um, the, and if you're not a rap head, you won't be following and you think, Jay Z that much. If a pink get an attitude, drop it like it's a uh, drop it. This is, Come this on, is going man. to go like, um, like Whiskey and um, Vibes, Vibes Cartel. Cartel. So they both had nice songs. The person that won was the one that had more music, it's also about longevity which we mm. saw in Ricardo and Burner Boy. These people are both good. I'm not taking anything away from, from um, Snoop Dogg, but I think Snoop Dogg's um, hits will run out first before Jay-Z's. That's just me, yeah. okay. okay. But then I want to beg you two for one thing. I know mm. I can't sleep for life. So if this ever happens, if Jay-Z ever agrees to this challenge, you always miss it. please you call me. Wake me up, boss. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I miss I don't think he would do it, though. I mm. don't think um, Jay-Z would... Why wouldn't he? Everybody wants to stay relevant in this lockdown. And I, I think this yeah, versus think is actually. Yeah, he doesn't need this type of validation. Not to really relevant. that kind of. It's not. Ex so you're saying all this now is basically a validation. I think it's some. There's, you know, I said something yesterday about being in the minds of people and streaming. So no matter how much a billionaire has, he needs more money in life. So I don't but think. But I don't think he, he needs the money from, from music. As long as. Yeah. As long he doesn't as, need money from music. As long as Beyonce is working with him. Amen. No. Like, as soon as we see Beyonce, oh, that's Jay's wife. So like Jay Z like is that. always very. How many? Very how many account? How many? Um, how much have you spent to him based on the fact that you have seen him with Beyonce? I said to you, oh, oh. <laughs> how much have you given him? How much I, has he sent to me? <laughs> 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 like, I don't understand. Because I know, I know that he doesn't. I, since Tidal and his record label, like this, he doesn't need the music. He was. And he since was, we're talking about streaming, do you know how much he's making from Tidal? Like alone, like he doesn't need a rap battle <laughs> with need it. Snoop Dogg. on a daily. Because right that, now, yeah. I think this is the okay. time for Jay Z to even be cashing out from Tidal. So he should just sit down yeah. and put his legs up and enjoy, right? Yeah. No, that's not what we're saying. Okay. No but problem. we're saying don't that. do anything, Jay Z. Oh, just sleep. I'm not saying we he will take this because I think he <laughs> will take this for the fun, but yeah. not because he wants to stay relevant. Yeah. Okay.
either ways, just wake me up. <laughs> this is our wrap of this episode of Sea Time. Thank you for watching and do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 90 5719 Um also remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always you go to my co-anchors, Ife Olua Shukeye and Ife Omai and the entire production team. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe. Thank you.